Hi everyone, if you've been following on from the other videos within this training set on Fruit Juice International, um, you would have already seen me create, a, well, showcase the entire website as a finished product as to what we are creating at the end of the day, show the initial database planning step, as well as go through the setup of the WHM, um, cPanel, uh, FTP, database, um, and seen me get the first three tables together within the database, which are the franchise table, the store table that links to the franchise table, and the users table, which links to the franchise as well as the store table. So we're going to get started in Webflow. We've got Webflow version 1.2.3 open currently, and we'll start our new project. This is a web project, not a mobile project. We are going to start with a blank page, and we'll just call this a Fruit Juice International Demo. The project folder, we haven't got one as yet. We'll go and create one in our documents folder, make a new folder, and let's just call this Fruit Juice International Demo. Create that, select that folder. The type of um, thing that we are creating is a website and not a mobile app. The links are going to be relative to the site route and not the document route. And the server model I'm going to be using is PHP. So I can create that. If I take a look in my file manager, you can see everything sitting over there. The next step. Um, in this entire process, well, what I would do first is set up my targets. Right now, the only thing that I have is a local target, and I would like to set this up on my actual server. So I click the little gear icon down there. You can see the general settings for my project. You can see the targets, which I have none set currently. So I'm going to add a new target, and I'm going to call this anything I like. Fruit Juice International demo server, let's call it. The remote URL for this is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash fjr dot wepler, sorry, dot learn wepler dot com. And the access type that we have to the server is going to be ftp access and we are accessing it via uh, fjr.learnwepler.com the port will leave blank i'm going to enter in the username this is learn wepler fjr normally that would actually be sufficient to hook up to the ftp server However, because I went through and I made my own new user going directly to the right remote directory, I'm going to have to put an at fjr.learnwepler.com. Let me enter in my password. Let's test that connection. Connection successful. Just while I'm here, um, this don't use ch mod was something that they did in order to connect up to non Linux um, or non Apache web servers, as far as I know. I think it was something to do with Windows web services, so you might need that. This use active, um, honestly, I haven't actually come across it before, so I'm not sure as to what that is exactly. The remote directory over here. Um, if this were a normal circumstance where you weren't working within a subdomain, uh, in general, this would just be forward slash public underscore HTML forward slash for Apache web server access. In our particular case, when I created the FTP user, I already made it that it is going to the correct remote directory. So this is already actually within forward slash public underscore HTML forward slash FJR forward slash. So this is fine as I have it. Let's save that. Now, as you can see, the target is still set to local. That is obviously no good. We need to ensure that that is set to the remote target that we've just created. 
Just to finish off um, with this particular setup, I just want to check over here, turn on my debugger, do a system check to make sure that everything is green and correctly installed. Um, I can do a check over here to check the target connection to make sure that the um, that it can reach my FTP server. So that's all fine. And as the final final check, I'm just going to close that down, go to the file manager section here again. And as you can see, there's this little expand area. I can open up this arrow, and those are the three files that you guys all saw on my on my actual file manager within cPanel. And these were obviously the files that we created. So it certainly is looking at the proper remote server and uh, everything looks fine and going according to plan. Um, at this stage, I might as well close off this particular video um, and I will continue in the next one where we'll actually start our first page within here. See you in the next one, guys.